Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Right, I have been challenged by the original creators of this challenge, Dan and Mazzy from the Travel Trolls, <laughs> to do the free food challenge. Now, I've seen a few other people do it and um, I think it's a bit standard what they're doing. You know, they've got the typical tins, which I've got tons of i've got noodles i've got pasta i've got rice but that is for when i need it but i was well prepared and every as everyone knows me i'm never short of food even when we're at meetups i'll just pull out food and start cooking uh b-roll mandy she thinks my fridge is magical because i just pull out an extra large chicken just like it's nothing and when i last met them i pulled out two legs of lamb just because um, now, I've taken a different approach. I could use all these, uh, use three of these tins and, you know, make up or some pasta or some rice or something and make up a very suitable dish. Not a problem. But I think we need to step it up a bit, you know, raise the bar. So, I am not using any tins because I've got other stuff. I've got plenty, my fridge is full. I'll put some B-roll over now of how full my fridge really is. <laughs> my freezer's packed, absolutely packed. Right, so the rules of this. You're allowed three ingredients. You're allowed condiments, salt, pepper, herbs, spices, and uh, like olive oil and things like that. And that's it, and you've got to make a meal. Or have you? I'm gonna make two meals out of three ingredients. Told you we're raising the bar. So we've got eggs. I've got five eggs there. Eh? Five eggs. There is no, I don't think there's any limit on how much of one ingredient you can use. So I've got five eggs, a pack of halloumi. Who don't love halloumi? It's cheese. You don't love cheese. And gammon. Smoked gammon. Now, Let's crack on, shall we? This is all bought and paid for. You don't get, you know, you don't get here without learning a thing or two about food. Right, so let's put them away because I'm not having them. So we've got three ingredients. Like I said, we have got eggs. We have got halloumi. And we have got a pack of gammon. Katie John's favorite. <laughs> Beat that. Right, so these are quite big gammons. I'm gonna cut one straight in half and chuck it on the chopping board. Right, so this is gonna be breakfast. I am gonna dice this really, really finely. Cause this is smoked, it will act I'm hoping, I know it will, like bacon bits. So then we're gonna have bacon bits with scrambled egg. That's breakfast. As I am on my own, I think it's easier if I just bring the stuff to the camera. There we go. Half of a gammon, really finely. Well, I say really finely, but finely. If uh, any of you haven't seen, um, <laughs> Travel Trolls first one when Dan Dan made this this challenge. <laughs> you gotta go look at his. It's uh <laughs> interesting to say the least. <laughs> it does it's certainly an entertainment value. Um I don't think he's starting a catering business anytime soon. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> But I, I, I think this is an easy challenge. This is a walk in the park. I need a bit more of a challenge, you know? So we need a nice bit of color on these. So when I said that my freezer's stocked, in my freezer right now, I have 14 pork chops, 12 boneless chicken thighs, 16 sausages from the butchers and bacon. <laughs> all in a tiny fridge. 
<laughs> so yeah, like I say, I'm good for fresh food. I'm good for it. I need to use it up. I'm, uh, I'm golden. I'm well prepared. That's one thing, you threaten my food supply, I'm gonna get it quick. We'll just get some color on them, throw three eggs in, mix it up to the nice consistency that I like, and uh, that's breakfast. Easy, how easy is that? Right, these are just getting a bit of color on them now, as you can see. One, two, and three. Three eggs in the pan and just mix it all up. This could actually be like an omelette. No cheese though. Oh, I could put cheese in it actually. I could put halloumi cheese in it because that's one of my ingredients. Bacon bits and scrambled egg. Breakfast is served. <laughs> so, bit of, bit of salt, bit of pepper. That's all I'm using for that. And I've got a bit of mayonnaise and a bit of brown sauce. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Time to dig in. Breakfast was a great success. Now it's time for lunch. Now, <laughs> you will hear it is piddling down outside. Obviously, I'm locked in my motorhome. <laughs> Can't go nowhere. Can't do anything. I'm committed to this uh, fr free, uh, free food challenge. So I can't put it off for another day. So if the sound sucks, I apologize. So we're gonna have gammon, eggs, and halloumi fries. Well, let's say halloumi fries, it'd just be halloumi fried, you know, so let's crack on, shall we? So there's not really much I need to do. I've got a pan here for the eggs. Um, I've got, this is just the next big pan I have, because I can use it for anything. So I can use it as a frying pan, but I can also use it as like a, to make big stews or something like that, you know. So let's deal with the halloumi first. Let's cut the corner. And while we're getting ready to do that, let's turn that on with just a little bit of olive oil. Let's drain any liquid we can out of it. Now, I don't know if many of you have had halloumi, but halloumi is amazing. I love it. It's so easy to like, fry and, and just use. So it's now in quarters. Like that, basically, like that bit of chef's perks. <laughs> so that's already. You can make it thinner and everything, but if it's if it's got a nice wedge to it, then it will still say soft in the middle and a little bit of a crisp on the outside. Because the other thing I forgot to mention is the reason I'm not doing pastas, rice, and everything is I am in keto. I do keto. I don't do carbohydrates. I've got that stuff on hand if I need it. Um, and I like to stay in my van and not go out and I've got food um, in the lockdown so I'm just doing my regular the way I eat normally even with the challenge Gammon in let's turn that up a little bit now I might chuck on some of this. Yeah, I'm gonna chuck on some of that. Put that on a low heat. It's just got some oil in it, nothing major. Again, if I didn't have oil, I could uh, I could get away with some scrambled eggs or poached eggs. So I've got to think about who to nominate for my, uh, once I've done my challenge. I think I've definitely got to nominate Gadget John and Mandy. They've got to, they've got to do something. Maybe I don't know if they do one each or if they do one together. That'll be uh, that'll be interesting. Um, I think I'm going to nominate Stuart from uh, Prep Cook Survive because he's what well, he don't know about cooking. He can knock up a, a, an amazing meal with you know in the woods. So if he's actually at home cooking, he is going to be, uh, that's going to be good. Um, and Mevy, I should nominate Mevy. <laughs> see what he cooks. That'll be interesting to see. <laughs> he does, 
we done a peanut butter and jam sandwich last night on a live stream. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that again. <laughs> As you can see, there's all the halloumi cooking, the gammon ready for my eggs, which are then in the plate. There! Time to whack an egg in. There's a fatty part to this, uh, which I'm going to cut off. I want that to cook more. But the other part is done. It's just coming together nicely. We don't want them to cook too much. We want a bit of a runny egg if we can. Halloumi is coming on. Lovely. Next egg, please. There you go, have a look at this. How good do they look? How good do they look? There's if most there's half of it already. These are coming out now. That's just getting a little bit crispy because it's the fattier part. Oh yeah, and look, they're still squidgy and soft. Just the way you want them. Your halloumi's definitely gotta be squidgy and soft on the inside. Just like me. Time to reunite this with its partner. Need a bigger plate. Ah, plate's hot. <laughs> Look at that. Gammon eggs and halloumi. <laughs> that is my second meal of the three food challenge. Beat that, suckers! Halloumi. Oh! Oh, halloumi. Mmm. Oh. Look at that. Dippy egg. Gammon. Oh. We're out shooting him. What gadget John would give to eat with this right now? <laughs> oh, love it. Well, that was flipping lovely. I gotta say, that was a hell of a lot of food. And I wouldn't normally eat that much, but it, as I was cooking it all and doing the challenge, I just cooked it all and I ain't gonna waste it. Um, yeah, that was more than enough. That could have easily been, you know, breakfast um, and then wait all the way until dinner and then uh, yeah have it for dinner so but that was that so i hope you enjoyed that guys take it easy bye